Hey everyone, happy Friday. It is Labor Day weekend. Labor so Day. Your birthday is coming up in a few weeks here. Oh, you don't have to talk about that. Turning That's 45. A, it's football season. <laughs> football, football season. Football season. Woohoo. Football. Next Thursday after yeah, Labor Day. Fall. Let's go, baby. Uh, we're talking about, you know, as, as former uh, as former players, we have dreams around this time of year of playing again or a lack of being ready to play. That's <laughs> weird. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. <laughs> So we actually have dreams sometimes, and I'm old. Like, I haven't played for 30 years when I was with the Jets, but yeah. sometimes this time of year, I still have dreams. And, and it was funny you brought that up the other day about, <laughs> about having to go to camp but not ready to go, right? Yep. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's you feel really weird when you don't feel like you're in shape for camp, and yep. I'm definitely not ready for that. And you wake up, and you're like, oh, I'm so glad I'm not actually. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Mine's crazy. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's kind of like... Not ready for retirement. It's still this kind of deal. That's what we're trying to help coach people up here, right? So absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk about markets. Why don't you give us a little update? Yeah, so markets are still down for August. We're at the end here. Um, we got to, uh, you know, see what happens. This week we had a little bounce. Um, we back above the 50-day, which are short-term averages that are that's good. We like to see the you know the Nasdaq, the Dow, the S&P all above their 50 day. Um, and Dow right now is trying to hold that 30 35,000 or 34700 is kind of the last area that we uh, you know is where that 50 day is. S&P trying to hold that 4450 area. Um, I think 4500 is more of a kind of a Psycho mental psychological point yeah. that the S&P is trying to hold again good when the markets are above the 50 days it's really important and nasdaq's at 13.8 mm -hmm. uh, that's where the 50 day is and so the, all of those three index indices right now are, are looking pretty strong nasdaq definitely strongest yeah dow <laughs> still kind of wavering a little bit but uh, we definitely got to follow through sort of in a new kind of uptrend we'll see how it plays out um but right now um in the short term again we're just talking short term yeah. in, in the markets it's uh, looks fairly positive at the moment. So short-term momentum, confirmed uptrend is kind of what I'm hearing you say right now, right? Yeah, right now, yeah. As far as, uh, you know, if you're a trader and you're not, we're not, we're not traders, right. but I mean, that's where you would look and you'll see more momentum at the moment is to the upside, but yeah. that could change, you know, you don't know anything could change the markets, but in the near term. Long-term, look, I mean, that's a, we always preach the long-term piece, you know, you gotta be in uh, long, it's, you know, it's time, not timing. So anyway, but in the short term right now, just positive for this this week. And I think it's interesting we talked about before we started recording companies that we were looking at today, uh, companies that had earning surprises, whether it was historically or even the most recent quarter, have actually uh, helped kind of prop up uh, stock prices and even help them, you know, yeah. go higher. Yeah. So that's always good. We always say what is, uh, emotion drives short term. But mm -hmm. earnings ultimately yeah. drive long-term stock price. So stock prices are all based on earnings, and that's what like long-term earnings, earnings, earnings. It's and and so that's why you're seeing the Nvidia's that yeah. you know the uh, what Salesforce you mm -hmm. know came out this week with really good numbers. Um, so you know when the earnings are there, uh, then the valuations make more sense. But it, so but that's really important, and that you know that's what we're trying to see is earnings. We came in this last quarter pretty much better than expected, mm -hmm. uh, you know, really well. Actually, I think that's yeah. part of the reason why we've had a little uptick, uptick here. But also I think the labor numbers that came out here recently have been really positive. Seems to be slowing. Good transition, yeah. good transition there. So let's get into the labor market. We've seen some trends of it loosening, hopefully. It's been a really tight labor market last few years since COVID. Um, but let's get into some of the data, I'll give that to you right now. So totaling uh, in terms of job openings, mm -hmm. um, down to 8.8 .8 million. It's actually the lowest since March of 2021. So okay. we're seeing signs of job openings being less, but also the people that are currently employed are staying with their current jobs. Yeah. They're not actually looking for higher remuneration somewhere else, higher pay somewhere else which is actually going to hopefully relieve the wage pressure yeah. and hopefully it doesn't add to the inflationary piece since, uh, you know, obviously higher wages means more spending money, which means potentially higher inflation. So yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, great. we'll see how that plays out. I mean, again, it's uh, yeah, that's good news for this week. Yep. looks like it's, um, you know, it's doing what the Fed wants it to do. And that's super positive in the near term. Um, but and it's going to be interesting <laughs> to see exactly as we continue to go with rates being so high. Yeah. Uh, you know how that eventually plays out, but right now it's a it's a good thing. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's let's talk a little bit about the the inflation piece. We mentioned jobs and labor force. 
So numbers came in line with what the analysts expected. So is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is that kind of wait and see? Well, look, it's a bad thing if you're a, a person out there losing your job or, you know, it affects you personally. Um, you know, it's a tough time. Middle class, uh, you know, there's a lot of issues out there for people. And, you know, we got clients who are dealing with things like that. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it's a challenge. But, you know, as far as good news is bad news, bad news is good news for the market. So anytime we see job openings coming down, mm -hmm. more unemployment, again, that's what the, the Fed's looking at. And that's longer term means that maybe the Fed stop, you know, is going to cease and uh, continue to hold yeah. down interest rates. I don't know. Powell came out recently, says they're still watching it. Uh, they're going to be hawkish if they need to. But, you know, with the numbers this week, it's possible that they're going to have to maybe pause even longer than they've said they may. So right now, there's a, we're expecting a 25 basis point. Market's sort of pricing in a, a, another 25 hmm. basis in November. Hmm. Um, but we'll see. As it gets closer, we get more data. Maybe that'll change. Yeah. That would be great, actually. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That would be positive. Well, the you, bond market and the bond market has reacted this week. Another reason why the markets are good this week is that the uh, in the last week, ten-year Treasuries hit a really yeah. uh, high. Um, mm -hmm. They were really spiking, and uh, and have pulled back since then. And so the bond market, that's good for bond prices. And so the you know that's important is we we don't want to see that yield keep going up because that'll put a lot of pressure on growth stocks, especially. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. You're on fire today. You got a lot of good info. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, fun to watch all these things happen. I just, I just hope that the Fed doesn't screw it up. You no, seriously, they have. But <laughs> not a good track record. They don't mess it up because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it's, it's this or that. I mean, it's going to really uh -huh. go either way at the moment if we go too tight. Absolutely. Well, let us know if you want to hear about anything specific in our upcoming videos. Shoot us an email, give us a call, but we love uh, delivering this information to you on a weekly basis so you're armed with educational knowledge that, uh, that you know may come up in conversations with friends and family. So we appreciate you. Yeah, have and a great Labor Day. Have a great Labor Day weekend. Go to the beach, go to the mountains, hike it outside, get that vitamin D. You know, <laughs> it's always yeah, it's really important. good for your health. So it's important. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Have Bye a good now. one. Bye.